I'd like to introduce uh, one more person, um, maybe two more, but I'm going to introduce um, Jade Gillum right now. Jade, come on up. Hi. Jade is an incredible young lady, and um, she wants to talk about her um, kind of eye-opening experience of waking up to some of the lies of the Democrat Party. So thank you for being here, Jade. Thank you. I'm flattered that you'd call me young at 44. Thank you. <laughs> Um, like Miss Carey said, my name is Jade. I am a former Democrat. Unlike Kamala Harris, I'm an actual real-life black woman. And I'm a former Democrat who is currently registered Republican. I stand here before you today because I'm tired. I'm tired of the Democrats using the generational trauma of my people to garner votes. They invoke fear. They tell me I'm oppressed. They tell me I'm less than. They tell me I'm not good enough. And they tell me that my white brothers and sisters in Christ are my enemy. They are not. As a follower of Jesus Christ, Ephesians 5.11 tells me I must expose the works of the enemy. And the enemy is telling me that don't worry that I can't pay my bills, that I'm working six days a week this week and I'm tired. And I went to school and I have a career. I'm doing worse under this administration than in Donald Trump's administration, but I'm told to be afraid of a man who made my life better? How does that work? Make it make sense. During COVID, I knew more of my white guy friends that lost their jobs than me and my black girlfriends. We are the same in this country. All these Americans want the same thing. We want safety. We want prosperity. We want peace. And the Democrats keep going back and look, check it out, right? I honor my ancestors and the people who fought for us to be in this room here today. No one is discounting what my people went through. But honor them by getting past it and invoking forgiveness in this culture. I'm so tired of being told I need to be afraid. I'm so tired that I need to be told all the time that I have to vote for the Democrats who have done nothing positive for my life at all. My life is totally worse than it was during the Trump administration. Yet I kept having, you must vote for the Democrats. We're told this as black people since we were a child. Let's honor our ancestors by doing better and honor them because they're rolling over in their graves hearing the fact that Kamala Harris is having Megan Thee Stallion twerk and showing our bodies as these like, just vessels of lust. That's not cool. This, these women out here are being told that Donald Trump is like their enemy when really Kamala Harris opening up the border, look what happened to Lake and Riley. She's a woman, she was a woman just like I am. No woman black or white wants that to happen to her. All of these people whose kids are dying, the black moms, the white moms, they all cry the same color tears. So let's move past this Let's vote for Donald Trump so we can all be prosperous again. Let's get out of this fear, this rage, and this anger because it comes from the devil. So hear me, black folks. Hear me, white folks. We are so much more alike than we are different. We need to forgive each other. We need to help each other. And I don't owe the Democrats anything. They owe me. They're to serve us. They're public servants. Stop putting them on a pedestal. Make them work for us. Woo! Woo!